In this video, guys, we're gonna answer the age-old question, is it possible to make easy money when trading? Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm well, welcome to you. So get this question so many times. I see it so many times on the internet, I see it so many times in forums, on Twitter, on social media, questions coming in, in the comments. It's a perfectly obvious, sensible question, I guess. Is it possible to make easy money trading? Now, for those of you who've been trading more than six months, you're all shaking your head at the screen, at your tablet, at your phone right now going, no, there's no point in watching this video. Let me look at funny thug life videos instead. <laughs> However, there is a question to be answered here, so let's answer the question. The obvious answer to this is no. In fact, in reality, it's possibly one of the hardest ways to make money. And actually there's a saying out there, it's the hardest way, it's the hardest way to make easy money. So what does that actually mean? It means that technically it's easy, right? You just click a button, you make money, but it's so hard to get it right. But regardless, let's answer this question a little bit more. So in terms of, is there easy money? How do we define easy? Now, there are people out there, or traders out there, who, and they're actually beginning traders and experienced traders, and maybe ex experienced traders will understand this and appreciate that it's not easy, but it can seem to be easy. Let me just paint this picture for you. So you have a strategy, you're in the market conditions, there's a nice trading environment, you happen to have a breakout strategy or a moving average crossover strategy, some strategy that works well during nice chugging bull markets you execute that strategy or you put your money into a strategy, uh, you know, into a managed account that's running that strategy or an automated strategy or whatever it may be. And it seems like it's easy money, right? You're buying stocks on a pullback, you're buying equities on a pullback, X percent pullback, you're holding for fresh highs, you're closing them when they're 10% up, you're waiting for the next, or whatever the strategy may be. That seems to be easy money, right? Because if you're starting out like that, and that's all you've ever known, and it's working well for you, this is the easiest thing in the world. And that was what happened in 1999, or in the tech boom, slightly earlier than that, but you, you get the idea. That was when everyone was just buying stocks, it was just flying, it was just, you could buy the stock that was the highest up, and it would be up again. Any dip, you could buy aggressively. It was just, it was technically easy money. Now, for those who were involved in that and who came out and didn't trade again, they've seen trading as a beautiful, easy pastime, stress-free, they're buying stuff, it's exciting, they're always making money, they're making big money. And if that was their only experience with trading, it's easy. Same with any other environment. You know, we could say, okay, well, you know, we're shorting crude oil off those all-time highs. That's easy money, I just stayed short. But really, in reality, if you experience, you know there's no such thing because you know that that will always end. Strategies will work well for a short period of time or a long period of time. But the secret to success in trading is knowing which strategy to use, fine. In hindsight, it's all very well. But during the time, that's also fine. But it's not only that, it's keeping the money. It's either saying, you know what? I need to shift strategies now. Is this a drawdown in how the market's behaving? Is it completely changing? Is it completely irrelevant? I just keep pressing on. Those are the questions you have to ask yourself. And so when we go back to this initial seed question of is it possible to make easy money? We know the answer is there's no such thing as easy money. However, it can appear easy and it can feel easy, right? You may know yourself if you're trading and there's many beginners out there who will come to this and they're like, well, I'm just trying to find out, give me the answer to the question, come on. But then there's lots of you out there with subscribers, et cetera, and appreciate the support, by the way. Thank you very much. But you know, you're like, listen, it can feel easy, right? You can be on a real thread and vein of perfect trading. You're just executing well. You're not necessarily winning every trade, but you're executing well. Your drawdown's low, and it can feel like it's just flowing. And that's the state we all want to be in as traders. And so if we can get into that state, it appears easy, but the work to get into that state is very often relatively hard, or very hard, in fact. We know there's a lot of discipline involved, psychology, etc. So you've got two sides of the coin. You've got, hey, I've just picked a strategy. It happens to work in this environment. I really don't know what I'm doing. And I know, I don't even know I don't know what I'm doing. I just think I'm a genius and it can appear easy. And there's many people who have done that and got away with it. And actually Bitcoin may well be, a, dare I say it, people got involved with Bitcoin. They it could seem to be easy money and it relatively was when it was ripping to highs. But if you overstayed your welcome just slightly, all of a sudden the easy money turned into a nightmare, which it did for very many as well. So 
there is the possibility of that. So there's that side. It's like, I don't know what I'm doing, but what I'm doing is working and it seems easy to me. But that will end at some point. And whether you come out and are lucky enough to come out with before it ends, great. If you're not, then you'll see the consequences of that as most of us have had experience with at some point or another. The other side of it is we're getting to the phase of becoming a trader that it's easy as in money is flowing, as in the account balance is growing at a nice rate, but we recognize there's nothing easy to it. Underneath the, underneath the surface, we're peddling like mad. We've got discipline and stuff going on. We've got routines. We've got um, analysis. We've got working on ourselves, working on the markets, all this stuff. And it can become easier because we put in place processes, routines, plans, strategy, etc., so that the growth is a little bit more consistent. Of course, we're never going to get that perfect linear growth that we'd all like forever. We often we'll get spells of it. We're going to get drawdowns. We're going to get stalls. And that's when it goes challenging and what have you. But if we're looking at the question of is it is it possible to make easy money? Yes, it is under the right conditions, with the right strategy, with the right environment. However, don't expect it. Expect that route to be hard, to be challenging, to be tricky, to be draining on resources, mental capital, financial capital. If you have that in your mindset and don't keep asking the question, is it possible to make easy money? Except that it's not. If you find a thread of easy money, so to speak, great, take it, but recognize it's not going to last forever. But also understand that if you want to be in the game, you got to put the work in, but you can get to a place where things become easier because of the real hard work you've put in before you've got to that area. All right, guys, see you next one. Take care. Bye-bye.